Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Lasser. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm going to be walking you around, showing you some of the basics on your new Cyclone fifth wheel. I'm going to show you some of the basic operation. But please feel free to give me a call if you have any additional questions. We'll try and get those questions answered for you. You can always reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. Is your battery disconnect? One of the first things you want to make sure you do is turn that to the green position. This is your inverter. It converts the 12 volt to 110 for certain interior outlets. When we want to activate the jacks over here on this side, all we simply do is push both arrow keys at the same time. Notice a green LED that comes on. You can see the jacks are operating by me simply pushing the button. We do have a propane tank on either side of this camper. We're going to show you the one on the other side as well because it has an auto changeover valve. Righty tighty shuts off the tanks. Lefty loosey will open up those tanks. This is our docking center. This is where our water connection comes through here. Comes through that little hole down there. It hooks up to here. This is our city water connection, our black tank flush. This is a positioning of the various valves. This allows us to perform various functions from winterizing to city water connection. This little switch right here turns on our water pump, our interior light for late at night. You do have a 25 foot 50 amp power cord. We do give you the electrical adapters that come with that as well motion sensor lights in here and this wonderful pass-through storage. Do keep the little ones away from the furnace exhausts as it can become hot. Your gate valves for your discharge of your waste and holding tanks are located behind there. Your three inches, your waste, your inch and a half is your gray. Underneath here, we're gonna see your tires. One of the things we wanna keep in mind is after the first 250 miles, it is a good idea to check the lug nuts on your tires because they can become loose. This back here, again, is another sewage tank flush that rinses out your back tank because you've got front and back tanks uh, on this RV. Your discharge for your fuel cell is right here. We have dual fuel cells in this camper. This is where we activate that from. You have a 25 foot power cord that's brand new that comes with this. We just have you hooked up temporarily to show you the basic operation. This is your ladder. You simply pull those pins and swing the ladder down for the operation of that. Back here, we have your rear patio. The patio, these arms simply swing out and around. When it's in a horizontal position, in other words, with the cables attached, that's patio position. If you detach the cables, it'll go to the ground. That allows you to load and unload items. Your stairs for your patio are located in this compartment back here. Keys are gonna be around your kitchen faucet. We're gonna walk over the side here. There's our hot water heater. Do keep the little ones away from that as well. Let's show you a couple other things over on this side. Okay, below here, we've got your spare tire. It slides out on that tray. We've got your low point, which are for your hot and cold, fresh water. Those just simply allow you to drain the lines. Your exterior stove here. Quick connect gas line comes through there. Let's open this up. There's incredible pass-through storage there. It's important because one of the first things we want to do, you guys, is make sure when we go to slide this first slide out, you're going to use this button right here to slide that out, okay? Very, very important. we got to get out that primary slide before we can start to operate anything else. It's your automatic changeover valve right here. Your gas valve, your green indicates there's propane running through the lines. That's your selector, which just determines which tank we're actually drawing from. So let's walk inside and show you the basic operation here. Beautiful, spacious camper here, you guys. All sorts of space. There's your gas electric refrigerator there. Simple operation with this. I'm gonna show you how this works. This powers it up. That selects which source, which droplets, propane, the plug or automatic feature. We'll go to the most convenient power source. So since we're plugged in, it's gonna to go to the electric or we can force the other. I'd leave it on nine for your initial setting. That'll allow everything to get nice and cool. Walk you through the camper here. We have our fuse breaker box located down here at the very bottom here. Our fuses for our 12 are located up here. Our breakers are located down here. And command center is right here. 
that activates your keypad. You slide out and scroll this back. See a list of various options. I like to put them in devices. So what I'll do is I'll select devices and then it'll give me a nice scrolling list. See all of them like that. And I can scroll up and down the list. Makes it real simple. This shows me my solar panel. My roof is working properly. It's charging my battery. This button down here is to turn on my inverter. We'll activate that. This turns on my overhead lights. Now, when I want to operate my furnace or my air conditioner, I go up to these controls. You have these throughout the camper. Push these a couple times, a little snowflake appears. That's my air conditioner. Adjust the desired temperature. The air conditioner will kick on. It generally takes between 30 to 60 seconds. Yeah, you heard it already kick on there. Your master bedroom, of course, has an additional air conditioner control. Overhead lights, very, very important. This little switch over here in the corner, that allows it, you to tilt the bed up and down. It's important that you tilt this bed up and down to, to this position so when you go to slide it in. If you don't tilt it, unfortunately, what's gonna happen is it will not operate properly. So you have to make sure that you kind of tilt that up and down. Okay, let's walk you to the back. and We'll show you a couple other things. that air conditioner on for a second here. Got a fireplace down here, your stereo, your keys around your faucet as we mentioned. When you go to operate your stove, simply hold it in, twist the dial, and look at that. Lights right up for you. We've got some overhead lights here, overhead fan, which is located right up there. Let's get on the back here real quick. There's your awning mat, your side stairs, because you have a rear and a back patio. Now, this is where we control your power beds from. What's important to note about your power beds, you do have pins that are located in all four corners. You've got to pull those pins so both beds will come down at the same time. Your table is underneath that top cushion, just so you're aware. Fire extinguisher right there. Some of your goodies that came with the camper, your gas line, of course, for that quick connect stove your hookups for your washer dryer right there. Bathroom set up there. If you want this wall to open up, simply pull this and the wall will swing around for you. If there's not a switch on the wall, your lights will have a push button in the center that will operate those. Hey guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. We do appreciate your business. If you do have additional questions, please, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'll be happy to help you or answer any of those questions. You can reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.